DJ Pro has one of the best stem separation features called Neuromix. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to map every Neuromix feature into any controller. I'm doing it with this controller, but it could be done on any controller that has buttons and knobs. So to map anything in DJ Pro, what you're going to do is go to this middle button here, and then we're going to go down to MIDI devices, and then we're gonna find our controller, the DJ Control Mix, and then here it is. This is where you're gonna be able to map everything, and it may look a little confusing with all these letters and numbers and symbols, but to map anything on DJ Pro is super easy because all you have to do is turn one of the knobs or press one of the buttons. So first I'll show you with knobs. So let's do this one. So as soon as you turn it, it gets highlighted. So now originally uh, pre-mapped, this is the target is mixer and then the action is line volume. This controls the, the volume for this specific deck. So to change this, what we're going to do is we're going to change the target because narrow mix is a, uh, is, is a deck feature, not a mixer feature. So we're going to press deck one. So now it's going to control deck one in the software and then the action. Now we're gonna scroll down to Neuromix. So here we have Neuromix, Neuromix three channels. We're gonna do Neuromix two channels. So the first one's gonna be instrument for the instruments. So instrument like that. And then we press save or you could keep going and then press save. That's what I should have done. Now I'm going to do this one. It, this is going to be deck one. It's already pre-mapped to deck one, but we don't want it to control the filter. We want it to co control Neuromix. So we're going to scroll down, Neuromix two channels, acapella. Now we'll press save, done. And then in our software, if we press the drop down menu here, we could select two band narrow mix. So now with these, so when you're playing the track, so just like that, that's one way that you could control narrow mix. Now let me show you with the buttons. So we go back to MIDI devices, select our controller, and now let's do this button. So deck one Q, but we wanna change it to deck one Nero mix. And the buttons and knobs are gonna allow you to map different things. Some things can only be mapped as a button, some things can only be mapped as a knob. So we're gonna get some different options here. We could scroll down. So we'll do Nero Mix four channels. So we're gonna make it so when you press the button, it's gonna mute a specific Nero Mix stem. So this one is going to mute the drums. This one's gonna mute the bass. This third one, mute the harmonics. Fourth one is gonna mute the vocals. So now we're gonna save it. We're gonna open up our four band. So just like that, we can take out the vocals. So now we have knobs and buttons controlling Nero mix. So instrumentals, acapellas, isolations. Now there are other things you could do if you want to get more advanced with this, but this is just a basic. If you know how to map this, then you can map any feature. So I recommend going and testing out. Maybe you would want to do Neuromix solos, which is going to get rid of everything and just play the one specific, specific stem. But if you can map these buttons, you can map anything. And they came out with a new Hercules control mix, the control mix ultra. So if you want to see my full tutorial on this awesome new controller, check out this video over here. Thank you.